It's kind of hard to start a video talking about Terry Luna Classic without trying to sound sarcastic, which seems like everybody else is doing that right now. But we're going to try and break down what's going on with some governor's proposals, as well as the price action and the latest with the Terra Station issue. So all of that in this video. And if you are still bullish on Terra Luna Classic or you want to see some more content, let me see you smash the like button down below. Again, as always, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. And with that being said, let's get into this one so we've had a number of proposals that have gone through some more interesting than others most recently the USTC stable algo quant team now i've talked about this a little bit i talked about it previously when the first vote came out in which if they didn't deliver on anything whether market sentiment or not then it was very unlikely they would continue for a second month now depending on how you look at this this is either a good thing or a bad thing ultimately we are paying for a service in which that service should bring in driven results if it doesn't drive results people right now particularly in the cryptocurrency markets are incredibly fickle so this one right now would be to propose to continue the second month with that quant algo team in which it was going to be 20k that therefore becomes 40,000 over the two months and absolutely it is getting completely and utterly obliterated in terms of no votes now the debate here is how many people are voting no who's voting no and why are they voting no I think what's also interesting with this proposal is they are kind of tagging onto the 800 million USTC, so zombie USTC to be burnt and lead the process free of charge as it's already done with Risk Harbor Multisig assets. So look, I think the community unfortunately right now has seen through this to a degree. I think, look, the reality is, were they going to solve this in a couple of months? No. And I think if it was cheap and if they genuinely had the best interest of this chain at heart, then I understand they have to get paid. I understand they have to work. But at the same time, you'd say, well, okay, do you know what? We'll do it for less. We'll do it for half the price and we will drive a price increase when it comes to something like USTC or when it comes to the Lunar Classic price. What we do know that right now we're down in the sixes. It is continuing to go down. Now, I've talked about this in my live stream, kind of my view of it at the minute. And would I put any more money into Lunar Classic right now? No, I think we need to get some ducks in order. The community needs to sort itself out. Equally, the development team need to just align. We had three proposals for three separate teams working on three separate things. The argument here is that's never going to work. We need one shared goal with a focus of ultimately delivering on either burns or price and i've talked about that now for a number of times now we did get an update to a degree on that terra station information so this coming out says we've identified a temporary issue with terra.money domains for your safety please refrain from accessing domains ending in terra.money to prevent potential phasing threats this is the wallets and other things we do have an update which says just a friendly reminder that while terra station is currently working on to resolve the issues we have terra classic station available for use which is fully functional you can cast your votes on important proposals stake your lunk and while there you can take advantage of our on-ramp service which always did it dedicated to providing support for the lung community so again great Great to see that we do have the on-ramp. I talked about that a while back, that those are the things we need to build out. Those are the things that fundamentally use case that brings people to the chain are a positive sentiment. Now, what have we got? Well, our, bo our burns just tipped into a new day here. So look, yesterday burned about 54 million that we see going through. And ultimately, when we take a look at some of the stats, we continue to start to see this build back up again. So people restaking uh, with Luna Classic, which is kind of good to see. Block time about 5.9 seconds and our total transactions 337,000. So look, we are still seeing a bit of on-chain volume it does need to significantly increase if we truly want to start to see it move across one of the big problems we do have and i guess this is for everyone to walk away and think about the community to think about is we right now are in a monopoly there is a monopoly on governance there is a monopoly on rewards and ultimately what we're seeing is huge amounts of uh, staking power and a voting power being given to top delegators and top validator nodes and i think this is important we have to find decentralization where it might not be and i think this will be the absolute success of terra luna classic or not some people are in it for the long term and some people are absolutely not my view and i've said this on my live streams i haven't sold anything it's just sat there i'm staking and we'll see what happens it's a ride or die situation but i understand people that may want to move their coins out may want to sell and i think ultimately right now we are in a layer of turmoil we have absolutely people doing totally different things but yeah it is important that when you stake with validators, as you are staking based upon their attitude towards decentralization or towards the chain it's very very important because if you're not then ultimately what we end up with 
is just what we've got now, which is where proposals that we probably need to go through don't fully go through. And finally, we are still, as ever, waiting for this direct burn of 800 million USTC. And what, are we going to get it? The reality probably says no, because it's fundamentally in a wallet that we can't access and we'd have to completely change the code. Now, we'll see how this pans out. Do I think it'd be a good thing to do? Yes, I think we need to fully understand what it is. And I think, again, it's really important that actually for decentralization, we're making sure that it's the right thing under the right level of governance and it's a fundamental decision by the community and not just said individuals. So when we come to Terra Luna Classic right now, the price, like we said, is on the up, albeit very, very marginal. We actually had a good day yesterday, up about 6%, currently trading 6.694. The rest of the market is starting to show some signs of recovery as we move through the weekend. So look, it's going to be key eye to keep on it. But look, for me, it's a long-term thing with Terra Luna Classic. But when we do come out, it is right now, and I am fully understanding and appreciative of people's views, it is a hard chart to look at. So not only do we get the obvious massive collapse, but look, we've continually come down probably from the sort of mid-February time to where we currently sit now. Is there hope? Of course there is. Do we need to get things in line? Yes. So we've still got $20 million worth of volume. Binance is still supporting the burn mechanism. I think if we lose Binance, then it could be very, very challenging. But let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? What do you think of everything going on uh, with Luna Classic right now? Do you want to see some shite nift in the narrative that we talk about? Or do you like this content? If you do, as ever, hit the like button. It just shows me that you guys are interested and wanted me to keep you updated with what's going on with Luna Classic. But as ever, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.